Hey guys, it's Adam here, and welcome to yet another episode of Calm Down Comments, where I comment on your comments that you left on the videos. Without further ado, let's roll that intro and get out of some comments. <laughs> Alright guys, our first comment here is from 2CV Bloke, and they said, Can't feed the cats here, Iams. Damned animals just puke them back up. Some cats are fussy about it, but Scampers was born and raised on Iams. Well, I don't know about born on it, but definitely raised on it, because... That's what I used to feed to Felix. I tried it on her. She fucking loves it. So, that's some. The beating feet says, well, Adam, it's official. Winter's flipping here. Oh, I know. Well, it hasn't started snowing yet, but we might get some more. We might get some more. Oh, fuck. My neighbor already has the Christmas lights on. So pretty. Two City Bloke again says, yep, people only buy apples solely for the name, which is sad. And it's true. Like, I know a friend who wants an Apple MacBook, and I said, why? You got a perfectly good PC. And she's like, I just want one. And I'm like, but they're like a fucking $1,200 laptop. And she's like, I just want one. Like, have you ever used one? Nope. Why do you want one? Because I just want one. Okay. Have at her. Guadalupe Alvarado says... In the chili, you can put those large cans of Hunt spaghetti sauce. They're like a dollar at Walmart, maybe more in Canada. Just use one can. I've seen it done like that, and it definitely does give the chili a different taste. Um, I just love it with the tomato juice. Like when I do it with the tomato juice over the tomato soup. Um, tomato juice really gives a good taste, and when you add the tomato paste, it really thickens the shit out of it. Austin Dunn says, Adam, you gotta try Fallout 4. Fucking awesome game. Um, I want to try it out. I have it installed on my computer, but I don't think my computer has the horsepower to play it. So that's the problem I'm kind of struggling with. Riding with Dave says, uh, would probably need a license for a 250cc bike. Oh, you do. Oh, you definitely need a license for it. Uh, I do know here you don't have to have one for a scooter or a moped, as your normal license will suffice. Here in Canada, for a scooter or moped, you actually need a restricted class M. I got burnt for that one. When I first bought this house in 2006, I was going through the garage to see where I could put stuff, and I realized on the overhang up top, there was like room and shit up there you could do with. So, got dad to bring his ladder over, and I climbed up there and looked, and was like, what the fuck is this guy? I'm like, there's like an old exercise bike or something up here. I didn't know what the hell it was, it was just a bike. So I grabbed it and started hauling it over and over and over and pulled it down, and I looked it over, and went, this thing has a fucking motor on it. This is not a pedal bike, it's a motorbike. But it had pedals on it too, and I was like, I'm looking over, and it was a Tomo, Tom Thomas, I think that's what it was. Um, so I got on the internet and figured out how to start it and shit, and because uh, I'd never operated anything like that, and I took it for a rip down the road. Well, right across the street, there's my neighbor. He's a North Bay police officer. He was home for lunch, and he saw me fucking rip out of the driveway and go for a cruise. Well, he hunted me down. He's like, Adam, tell me tell me you have a fucking license to operate a motorcycle. And I'm like, no, it's a pedal bike, bud, with a motor. He's like, you need a restricted class M to operate that moped. And I'm like, fuck, really? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, well, I guess I'll pedal it back home. I didn't know. And he's like, it's cool. He goes, at least you're wearing a helmet, because I actually had a helmet on. Yeah, I did have a helmet on. No, I had a, I had a bicycle helmet on. That's right. I didn't have a motorcycle helmet. I had a bicycle helmet on. I think I still have that helmet in the garage, actually. It's probably been shot on video a couple times. But, um, yeah, I totally uh, took it for a rip, and that was the end of it. I ended up selling it for 100 bucks to a buddy who wanted something to rip around on at his camp. I regret selling it because that'd be fucking cool to have today. Fuck do I regret selling that. Crazy Cycling Vlogger says, The beef industry is highly subsidized by taxpayer dollars. We aren't paying anywhere near the true price a pound of beef costs to produce. So should we be paying more or less? Because I would rather pay less. And until then, my chili will be made with ground chicken. Rick Looper says, try chicken and spaghetti. Surprisingly, it tastes good. Oh, uh, it tastes awesome in chili, bud. It tastes awesome in chili. Ground chicken and chili? Fucking nice. The Malicious SRT says, go on Kijiji and find a lightly used snow tire package. Not a difficult task. Your current tires only need uh, the bead resealed. A tire shop to fix it, again, not a difficult task. Um, my current tires in the back are fucked. Uh, from being a couple of years of being misaligned, uh, the ones, yeah, I need new tires on the back. That's a given. Uh, I'm going to bring them to an actual tire shop, not just a roadside garage this time, and have them properly installed, and then hopefully I won't be inflating my tire every other day. 
because literally every time I go out to the car, I gotta pump up the tires. Those are cycling. Uh, crazy cycling vlogger says laundry soap in your chili. That's a secret recipe for sure. Oh yeah, it makes it so delicious. Rob's vlog says how's the kitty's wounds going? Haven't seen any updates on her. Uh, she's healing. Um, all of her neck is pretty much done. It's all healed up and the fur is grown back in. She had a mark on her eye. I've been applying the cream to that and that's basically cleaned up. And she has a new little, uh, not a new one, but she has another mark on the back of her head that I noticed. So I've been applying it to that too. Uh, I got her some shit from the pet store that basically you add it to her food and it gives her, like, I guess more moisture in her skin. So you basically just fucking pour this shit over the food and when they eat it, it absorbs in or some shit. I don't know, she's getting better, but she's still a lazy little kitty. Why I'm smarter than you says Formal Bay. I lived there 20 years ago. Well, shit. Small world, bud. And that's all we got for this episode of Comedy on Comments. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Any questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. And until next time, guys, peace the freak out.